Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Angelica Mack here. And you are here with It's More Than Just Lashes, where we talk about mindset, growth, and of course, your lash business and personal growth all in one. If you are interested in any of those topics, you're in the right place. Please go ahead and subscribe at the little subscribe button below so you can get all my content and hear all the information that I'm gonna share with you guys. For today, this video is about the lash business and the six ways to become a successful lash artist in 2023. As we know, this industry is ever evolving. This um, market is ever evolving. Instagram is evolving, TikTok, um, Reels, literally everything. So we're gonna get into the six ways that you can become successful in 2023 as a lash artist. Let's get into it. If anyone cares or wants to know, I've been hiding my face in the past videos because I have had an allergic reaction to lamination or slash the brow tinting. We did both and um, the brows are not, they're not pretty. So that's why I'm wearing a hat right now. But if you've seen my past videos, I was wearing a hat in every video because I love hats and that was kind of like my thing. Um, not sure if I'm getting back into that. I'm just doing that right now because we gotta fix it. Anyways, let's get into the six ways to be successful as a lash artist in 2023. Number one way to be successful as a lash artist in 2023 is to invest in your mindset. This page is all about mindset, growth, personal development, and the number one way to be successful in your personal life and in your career as a lash artist is to invest in your mindset. Listen to podcasts, read books, listen to books, read, really start journaling, writing down your ideas, your goals, the things you want for yourself. This is really important to become successful in really any career, in any business, is to invest in your mindset. Your mindset is gonna be the one if not the only thing that's really gonna push your business to the next level is investing in your mindset. So read those books. I have a video, my last video, if you haven't seen it, on the five books that I think you should read in 2023. It's linked below, take a look at it. That will definitely help you learn how to invest in your mindset. Number two, use TikTok. We, this is no secret. Instagram and social media is a great way to change your lash business and to really help you, one, get a bunch of clientele, two, to really create a brand around yourself and to help you get your name out there as a lash artist. Um, this is a great way to really change your career and change your life, and that is Instagram, TikTok. Take advantage of the Instagram Reels. The Instagram Reels are insane. The algorithm on TikTok, is insane. I'm sure we've all seen that one person that has gone viral from one video. That's what you need to do. Invest your time into TikTok. If you don't have clients for two or three hours, don't just go home, sit in your salon room and make content. If you aren't doing anything, you don't have clients for an entire day, great. Don't go shopping at Sephora, don't go spend money, make some content. Take photos of every single client. That is a great way to really, really become successful as a large artist in 2023. Number three, take a new course. If, if you feel like you have the foundation of lash extensions, you know how to apply them, you know all the techniques of removals, you know all the wet sets, the bottom lashes, all the things that you can know, the decals, all the things that you can know that are currently in the industry right now, take a different course. Invest in an accounting class, invest in an HR class, invest in a graphic designing class or a social media marketing class or building a website, invest in a class like that that will help your business. Once you got it down, find something else, do something else, do another course. I think it's great to continue your education with lashes, but it becomes redundant at some point. You get lost in the sauce, you learn all these techniques, and you end up still reverting back to the same thing that you were doing. So once you feel confident, your set time, your turn times are down, your sets are full, take a course that will help your business. Bookkeeping is great, like I said, accounting, how to build a website, all those things are what you're gonna need to know at some point in your business once it starts growing. So you might as well learn it now while you're independent. That's number three. Number four is to learn a new lash technique. If you feel like you wanna change some services um, or you wanna even add services to your menu, if you're an esthetician and you wanna add waxing or you wanna add brow threading, um, microblading, wax, uh, wa brow waxing, the tinting, the lamination, like there's so many services that you can add to your menu. Learn that service and add it to your menu. If you wanna strictly just become an expert in lashes, there's nothing wrong with that, that's awesome. My favorite quote is, jack of all trades, master of none. If you wanna become a master of lashes, learn a new technique, like the wet lash set, that's really big right now. The anime lashes is really big right now. The bottom lashes, the decals, the super wispy strip lash look. 
any of those sets that you feel like you're not doing enough of or you don't know how to do, learn how to do it. Watch a YouTube video, watch TikTok, and use a client and ask them, hey, do you mind if I try this on you? Or run a discount on your Instagram page and say, hey, I'm running a discount on Witsby sets, I need practice please come book with me. Something like that is a great way to become successful as a lash artist. If you are diversifying your sets, that is a great way to be successful. It allows a variety of different people to come in and book with you. That's what we want, that's great. That's number four. Number five, if you, this is only for lash artists who are maybe still doing two hour fills, one and a half hour fills. There's nothing wrong with long fills. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But from my experience working in a lash salon and getting a high volume of clients, they don't want to sit any longer than an hour. Unfortunately, they're antsy. They don't want to not have their phones for longer than an hour. They want to. They don't want to be unreachable for longer than an hour. Some of them are coming in during their lunch break and they only have an hour. So if you can shorten your turn times, I highly suggest doing that. Shortening your turn times opens up the door to a wide range of people that one, have anxiety, that cannot sit. Those super busy business women that don't have a lot of time. They can't sit for two hours. And you have to think about the time it takes them to get there. It takes them 20 or 30 minutes to get to your appointment. It's about an hour, or let's say you are two hour fills and they take 30 minutes to drive home. All in all, that's a three hour, three and a half hour ordeal just for lash extensions. So you have to think about that. The, more, the shorter your turn times, the more clients you can fit in the day equals the more money that you can make in the day. So that's the ultimate goal. Shorten your turn times. I'm gonna make a video on ways that you can shorten your turn times. If you wanna visit my Instagram page as well, I have a reel on different techniques on how to shorten your turn times. It's on my TikTok as well. I will link that below. Number six, this is one of the things that I'm currently working on and that is building a brand around yourself. Building a brand around your business. Once again, this, this YouTube page is called, it's more than just lashes and you are more than just a lash artist. Start building a brand around yourself. Stop figuring out your brand voice, your brand, your brand message, your mission statement. One of the, some of the things that you wanna project out into the world and to your clients, build a brand around yourself. That is one sure way to become extremely successful in 2023 and beyond is building a brand. Be more than just a lash artist. You're more than just that. You are a brand. And once you start seeing yourself as a brand is what's gonna allow you to become successful and have a stronger presence on Instagram, have a stronger presence in your company, have a stronger presence on the internet. And that is a sure way to really traject your life and traject your, your business. And that's what we want. We wanna build a brand around ourselves. Like I said, we're more than just lash artists. We're more than just lash texts. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that, okay? So that's number six. Thank you everyone for visiting. Thank you everyone for being here. I so love sharing these tips with you. I hope that you've gotten some value from this video and you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, once again, I'm always here for you. My DMs are always open. Send me a message. My Instagram is linked below. If you have any questions, concerns, you wanna ask me something, I am absolutely there for you. I have a question for you though. What are some ways that you were successful last year? Look at your last year, see what are some things that you did that you were like, oh, this really worked. This worked great. Find those, write one of them below so you can share with the world and hopefully that will help them. Of course, there's a bunch of other techniques to become successful and this is gonna be an evolving conversation that we're gonna always have. Find new ways to become successful. This is gonna be a video that I'm probably gonna do every six months. So if you have not already, subscribe below. It's so nice to see you, so nice to have you here. I love to see you guys. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.